Okay, so as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to look more in depth into the Sens acquiring Ryan Dezingle yesterday. I did touch on it briefly during my game review of the Sens and the Jets, but I'm going to look more in depth into it like I said today. Ryan Dezingle is going to begin his second tour of duty with the Ottawa Senators, and we don't know how long this tour of duty is going to be, though. I mean, he could be out as quickly as the trade deadline just because, if, you know, if the Sens are selling off, they, he could be one of the guys they sell. At the deadline, but, you know, Cedric Paquette and Alex Galchenyuk going the other way to Carolina. Um, like I mentioned briefly yesterday, Paquette's a good, solid fourth-line penalty killer. I wouldn't really give him more than that. For Galchenyuk, I think he's got a lot of potential, never got to show it in Ottawa. DJ Smith said in the post-game yesterday when asked about Galchenyuk that, you know, he, he's a guy that kind of, you know, he, he got caught in the wheel of, of, of player development, so to speak. And I'm paraphrasing, of course, but more or less saying that, you know, he had to develop some younger guys and Galchenyuk kind of got the short end of the stick, kind of. And, uh, you know, he's just going to have to move on now and, and, and get a good opportunity in Carolina. And it looks like that's where it's going to happen for him. And this is probably his last shot at getting a chance here in the NHL because this is his sixth team now in eight or nine years in the NHL. So for Galchenyuk, he could be on his last chance. Zingle's contract expires at the end of the season. Like I mentioned, he carries a cap hit of $3.75 million for the Sens. That's a good deal. Zingle's a guy who's going to bring lots of speed. He's going to bring some finish as well. He's not like a superstar type of finisher. He's not going to, you know, we, we know in Ottawa he had many breakaways because of his speed, but he wasn't able to finish on a lot of them. So Dezingle, I think, is a guy in a full season that could get you 15 to 20 goals maybe at the most. But he's a good utility guy. He can play, you know, probably through lines one through three on Ottawa, I would say, for the most part. And he brings lots of speed and makes them a quicker club, just like DJ Smith mentioned yesterday. And the guys that played with Dezingle sound really excited to have him back. So it sounds like he's a good locker room guy as well, as Colin White was one of the guys to mention that he shot him a text after the game there and that he's really happy to have him back and he was a good influence more or less when he was a young player coming into the league just a few years ago. But guys, that's my more in-depth look on this trade. Let me know what you think in the comment section below about the Zingle coming back uh, to Ottawa. For him, it's kind of weird. Right? It must be because, you know, he was away. You probably, probably don't expect to come back to a team that you just been traded from, you know, as recent as a couple of years ago now it's going on. I certainly didn't expect it. I don't think any of you expected it. But like I said, let me know all that and more in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe and share this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.